In lesson seven, we're going to talk about events, delegates, stack and heap in C sharp. We're going to reuse what we did in lesson six and all of its prerequisites. We're going to create a log message delegate that will log to a database and log to a file. And we'll create classes derived from event args and event handlers. And we'll have a discussion about the stack and heap and managed code. And we're going to view the call stack, autos, locals, and heap in debug mode. In part one, we're going to create a log function delegate, which will log to a database and log to a file. We're going to create an application log database table. We're going to create a logger class and log message delegate. And we're going to create a log to database and log to file methods. And we're going to implement the log message delegate in the application start and the application end. Let's start by going into Windows Explorer. Let's right click on lesson six, copy and paste it back. And let's rename it to lesson seven. In Visual Studio, let's go file, open, project, solution, and let's navigate to where we've saved lesson seven. Let's start by re renaming some things. In the form one, let's open that. In the properties, let's rename that to lesson seven. As well in the solution, let's rename this to lesson seven. And let's rename this to lesson seven. So let's go change all of our namespaces. Let's start with our data access components. Company DAC, let's change that to lesson seven. Connection manager, lesson seven. Window, add company, add modify company. Company sells lead window. Form one. Products class. To our program. Lesson six to lesson seven. And our sales lead class to lesson seven. Let's run it to make sure everything's working okay. Okay. So let's create our application log table. Let's open our Enterprise 4 database. Right click on tables, add new table. Set a user ID in varchar. Do not allow nulls. Add a system ID in varchar. Do not allow nulls. The log description. What in text? Do not allow nulls. And a date time. Do not allow nulls. And let's go set the default value to get date. Let's set the primary keys. Let's save it as application log. Okay. 
whenever you're creating an application log table, it's important to save as much data as you possibly can to it because the data on these tables are used to debug, uh, to find issues, or to, to track users. But at the same time, you don't want to put too much in there because it could have a negative impact on the response of your system or the performance of your system. So you need to be sure that that you, you weigh and measure uh, how much information and specifically what information you want to, to save to your application log files and database tables. Let's close this down. And let's create a new class. Add new item class. And let's call it logger. L-O-G-G-E-R. Change the namespace to Lesson 7. And let's change the class to be public and sealed. Let's add using system.io. And then let's declare our delegate. Let's call it public delegate void log message string user ID string system ID and string log description now let's create our Law, the function that is going to log to a file. So let's call it public static void log to file. String user ID, string system ID, and string log description. So note here that the return and the parameter lists of this function are the same as the delegate and that's a requirement. So let's add the logic. So we go string message line equals user ID plus ID log description plus date time dot now dot using streamrider file comma true Right line, message line. 